So as you probably heard, I am a big admirer of Apple products and I use a lot of them. Um, but I also find that sometimes Apple products are extremely expensive and not that great. For example, I consider the MSI Wind, which I use in Hackintosh mode, uh, but I also use Windows XP and I use, also use Ubuntu with 160 gigabytes of RAM and all these USB ports much better than this MacBook Air for which I paid $1,800 for because it included tax, it only has one USB port, it only has 80 gigabytes of memory and other than a big screen uh, and a battery that runs out very quickly, MSI Wind is a much better product. And I think, of course you can say that I'm not that objective, but I think that the Fonera is a much better product than the Time Capsule. So the, the Fonera uh, 2.0 and the Time Capsule are both routers that do other things. In the case of the Time Capsule, what it does is it, it's very good for backups. And phone, the Fonera also does backups, as you can see here. It says phone backup. Uh, but how about this? Rapid Share, Mega Upload, BitTorrent, Picasa, Flickr, YouTube, and Facebook also, which I don't have in this development version. 3G, so you can receive 3G and send Wi-Fi. I mean, what we really did if, if you think about it, even though this project started two years ago and the iPhone didn't exist, there is a similarity with the iPhone and the Fonera. If anything, La, La Fonera is like the iPhone of the routers because in the iPhone you have all these different applications that you download and in the Fonera you also have a lot of applications that are made by developers and there'll be more of course webcams and printers and all sorts of things that the Fonera does. Now the price, well this is going for sale tomorrow for 49 euros and this one sells for 259 euros. Uh, yes, this one doesn't have 500 gigabyte memory but you can get this one here for 99 euros and so and that's a terabyte so the combination really works out.